question, have you seen Barbie? No, because up at the lake, it hasn't come up yet. Well, I it hasn't come out here in Napa Valley, but I already bought tickets for when it does. Which I got you and when, Brian tickets, but you told me now you guys aren't here. It's like well, August 12th. I might be here. Mm. Maybe. We'll okay. see. How but about how incredible it's doing? So this morning, um, after my run, I was walking after, and I'm like, oh, I want to see the reviews. I always love, like, reading yeah. all the reviews from, like, legit Rotten sources. Tomatoes. Yeah. All of it. And everyone has put over the Barbie movie. Well, it, because it's totally not what people expected. Right. It actually... What the memes I was seeing is what you think, how you're going to leave when you watch Barbie, and then how you really leave. I but mean, people were said they cried, they felt inspired, they were yeah. moved, they laughed, they were it's blown away by women. Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. I was just like reading everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well, and I love the fact that this film was directed by a woman and it had an incredible opening day, then an even more incredible weekend. And I'm thinking this time right now, like we have Women's World Cup going on right now, right? And like, I just love all the commercials I'm seeing because you have these top men, whether it's NFL, basketball, but they're talking about like what the women do. Then I think of like Taylor Swift, for instance. When Right, she's hear, killing it. Well, Jeez. What her tour has just done for the economy alone, it's like they were like doing market research and that it could have in the end added $5 billion. This is one one female artist and what she's created. Incredible. Incredible. And then I think of what this female director, Greta Gerwig, has done alone just for cinema and movies and, you know, in an era where people aren't really, you know, making this kind of money. And right. so I it's, just love it. Yeah. And that she's, you know, it's kind of shown the world. I feel like people put Barbie down for so long, but it just shows you the true love people do have for Barbie. Well, that's... That's what was so interesting to me because I felt for so long everyone was kind of being like, oh, Barbie's show, little girls, that you have to be perfect. You have to be real thin. And, you know, it really always was about the blonde hair and the girliness. But I think this movie kind of showed everyone came out and wanted to put on their Barbie clothes, have Barbie parties, do the whole shebang. But Barbie meant a little bit more than just that to people. No, she did. Big it time. wasn't about Barbie probably image. was the first influencer of being <laughs> aspirational. Do you know what I mean? Well, and I think you wanted the Malibu mansion and the car and the yeah. guy and the outfits. But did we really want that or was it fun to play with? It was like Barbie was fun to cut off all her hair, let's be honest, and to put all these different clothes on to like talk and have our imaginations go wild. Like I never sat and there and put her in a convertible and been like, one day in my 20s, I want a pink convertible. Right. I never thought about that. Well, I mean, I wanted a pink Bronco in high school on the Barbie, or in the license plate, say Barbie, remember? Yeah, but you're so different. Oh, and okay. Well, I'm. you just saw the world all come out in pink outfits. No, I know, but what I'm saying is- Everyone I, on Instagram. I feel like Barbie got a little heat for a couple years for something that wasn't that true. I don't know. I can't wait to see the movie, Thank especially you. now seeing all the reviews and just hearing that there's an incredible story to it. Right. Um, and I just love seeing women kick ass. And so seeing women, whether right now it's in sports, it's in music, or it's in entertainment, film, and TV, like women are just kicking ass. Right. And I, I like, love that. I 100% agree. Mm -hmm. So, well, it'll be fun when we go to Barbie and then we can actually. I can't wait. Like, talk I know, about like, it. talk more about it. I know. I, I just, it was, it was, I, I was happy for them. And I, for some reason, love Margot Robbie. There's something about her. I love Margot Robbie. I've always loved her. I think in every film she's done, I've always felt drawn to her because I think she's an incredible actress. And of course, she's gorgeous, like, yeah. looks so perfect. But um, she's, she kind of reminds me of when Charlize Theron came out and like all those different movies. I felt like she was able to transform into so many different characters. Yep. And Margot Robbie yeah. kind of reminds me of the same. Yeah. And just like think Charlie's when she vibes. talks, she has this Australian accent. I know. So cute. 